What's up guys, my name is Jess. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Today I will be showing you outfit ideas that I had for Coachella, but honestly, they could be used throughout different festivals around the world. I would say some of these outfits would also fit for things like Desert Hearts, Lightning in a Bottle, Electric Forest, Bonnaroo, even EDC. So once you see some of those outfits, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But Coachella was my inspiration in mind. Before I get into the inspiration boards, I just want to say that I do have a tip for you if you're trying to style your own festival outfits. I think it's really helpful to start with one item that is kind of the base of your outfit or the inspiration or backbone to your outfit. For me, that's usually a pair of shoes, a statement hat, or like a print or specific color. Once you have that in mind, you could build off of that with all of your accessories and everything else. So that's what I did here. So you're gonna see some of these staple items I'm talking about and the different ways you could style them. Let's get into it. Outfit one and the rest of the outfits I'm gonna show you are all inspired by these irregular choice Pollywood cowgirl boots so I own these I have wanted to get a pair of irregular choice shoes for the longest time I have two pairs now two of them are going to be in this video and that is the inspiration behind a lot of these looks with this particular shoe so you have that red velvet you have those silver stars you have the purple flowers and i'm from new jersey and a cowgirl boot really is not my thing but cowgirl boots are definitely a coachella thing and i feel like when i saw these i was like okay i could wear these on my layovers in the south because i'm a flight attendant so i could do anywhere in the south i could wear these vegas and coachella that is exactly what i was thinking so this first look you could see the skirt has the stars i just have a simple purple crop top and then i have that silver fringe jacket which is by 12th 12th tribe the glasses are by spun glasses and then the hat is by I feel it's such a popular brand and I feel like I'm going to pronounce it wrong. I think it's like Kaleida, Kaleidoscope wear or something like that. It's not Kaleidoscope, but I'll pop it up on the screen for you. But they specialize in rhinestone hats. So I just felt like drawing in that red from the shoe would be really important. And then the earrings are actually just from Amazon and they have the red and the silver and like that drip going on. So really fun. This outfit for outfit number two, going off of the same shoes from a regular choice, just to me, screams Coachella. I am like loving the like trend right now of all like the dripping kind of like sequins, not sequins, what's it called? Diamonds or whatever. And so the body suit, the red or the purple, whatever you want, is the Daphne connection, uh, collection by Sassy Pants The Label, which is a UK brand. And then they also did a collab with the hat, which is I think by like funky, junky hats or something like that. And yeah, I just felt like, okay, what else can we do to like tie that element in? And I found this like rhinestone skirt and I just feel like it's so girly. I feel like it's just perfect for Coachella. I love it. This next one also to me just screams Coachella. Like you have that mesh skirt. It has stars and moons on it, which ties right into those stars. You could tell like everything. I was so drawn to the stars with these shoes. I love the star crown. That's a star body chain that you see in the top corner there. Um, I just think that, you know, you could accessorize so much and like pull everything together with these shoes. The crop top is by Warrior Within Designs. I keep showing a lot of that same crop top and that's just because I personally own that. And so I was trying to style items that I already have that so I'm not going broke buying all these things to try to complete these outfits if I ever decide to complete these outfits. But I just feel like classic Coachella look here. The next one, I also own that robe that you see in the corner. So it's a red robe with purple velvet flowers. It's a longer robe. And I just paired it with some white shorts that has like the star elements. Now, I typically wouldn't recommend wearing jean shorts to a festival, but these kind of looked like they were ripped and you kind of had a little more wiggle room. And so I just thought, okay, 
that might work and bringing in the star necklace as a statement piece and then doing like maybe some space buns and putting the gem stars in your hair. Love it. All right, this next one, going off the same shoes by regular choice. This is just something I put together to show a little bit of diversity. I would not wear cornrows for obvious reasons, but I saw this online when I was doing all this research and I was like, that is so sick. I know plenty of people that would wear cornrows and would love to like dress them up. And I just love the like diamonds, like sparkle element. And I love the nails. I'm not a nail person, but I just felt like, you, yeah, you could d get all the diamonds on your nails and have these shorts that are like dripping in the, in the diamonds and just, I love it. This is another option that is from Warrior Within Designs. I feel like Warrior Within Designs is like staple pieces for me. I, ha I own a lot of outfits by them and I want to own way more. They're just so comfortable. I cannot recommend their brand enough and they are just inclusive to all sizes and it's just comfortable to wear. You're going to a festival for like hours at a time walking around you want to be comfortable so i just liked this like shawl that they had because it has the red and the purple elements and you could wear it either the way that she's wearing it here or you could flip it around so it is pretty versatile and i just paired it with the star crown and the same earrings and sunglasses again this also is just kind of mixing and matching some of the elements that i shown showed you um, you do get a little bit of a better image of the uh, sassy pants label outfit the daphine outfit which by the way she has in various styles so there's ones with big bell sleeves there's one that have that has fringe there's the sheer one that i have pictured here which personally would be my taste i probably would wear that sheer top with a crop top and not a triangle bikini just because i have bigger tatas but I like support, but for all my girls that like wearing bikinis, I just thought that this was a super cute look. And then I just paired it with like a red rhinestone belt. I feel like there was just so many things that you could do with this outfit. I even have some inspiration for bags, purses, all the silver and all the stars. And then for hair accessories and, and things like that. I think that if you don't go with a hat and you just did like space buns and like clipped in some silver stars or put stars throughout the space buns, like it would just totally tie everything together. You could also get some star um, press on stickers from Lunonics or some tattoos from Lunonics, which you see in the bottom right corner of that photo of the inspiration. So I just felt like there was so much I could do basing outfits off of those shoes and those cow cowgirl boots and they are so different from any other cowgirl boots I've seen and so I'm just so happy with that purchase. All right now we're heading into some more inspiration here and the inspiration behind these next outfits are once again shoes from Irregular Choice. So you can do so many things with these. There's the butterfly, there's all the different colors. You have silver, you have gold, you have that dark blue, you have that light baby pink. Oh, there's so much you could do here and there is so much that I did. Like I have so many inspiration boards for this and people would say I'm crazy to wear, you know, a chunky heel to a festival or platforms to a festival, but quite honestly, I would wear this, I would get a locker and I would probably change out of them. I'm not even gonna lie, like I would wear it, I would get all my photos and then like after a few hours, I would probably get more comfortable shoes on, but oh, they're just so iconic. And the butterfly reminded me so much of Coachella because in 2015, their large scale art was a caterpillar and it was a caterpillar all weekend. And then on day three, it turned into a butterfly and it was absolutely iconic. And so that is what I'm basing all these outfits on is this shoe. So I, I love this model, by the way, with the pink hair. Oh, she's just like gorgeous. And like, I just felt like, okay, let me like keep her in there too, because maybe some of you have pink hair, but I always go with spun glasses. All the sunglasses that you pretty much will see in here are spun glasses. The belt is by Nomad Candy. I feel like Spun Glasses, Nomad Candy, and Brits Blossoms. You'll see a lot of that here because those are pretty much my go-to brands for festival accessories. The earrings are Brits Blossoms. They are her tinsel and fluff combo earrings. And I just felt like 
all those pieces along with the tinsel jacket that you see here and this skirt which is by um, a company that has been in the rave scene for so long and I don't know how to pronounce their name right and like I don't want to butcher it and like make a fool of myself so I'll just put it up on the screen I have something from their site in like all these next outfits I need to order from them it's just I can't decide what but I just felt like that skirt you got like that silver and then you got the rainbow that ties in with the butterfly god this outfit's fire okay for this next one this I could definitely see at Coachella I could also see it like at Electric Forest I could see it at Bonnaroo this to me is like something I would totally do it's like my classic like style, like comfortable, but fly as fuck. You know what I mean? Like you still are functional, you're still looking good and you're colorful. And like, that's just what I always go for. So the dress is the tie dye collection from Warrior Within Designs. Once again, I just love their, I just love their clothes. Everything is comfortable. It's a dress with pockets. It's just amazing. The glasses are another variation of spun glasses. Um, the hat is by Up, Uplifted Minds. If you guys are going for a wide brim hat, I honestly don't know why you would get anything else but Uplifted Minds. I own two of their hats. As you can see, I'm wearing one now. And I just think that their work is beautiful and you can just build your outfits off of their hats even. Also for accessories, I have the butterfly clips and then the Nomad Candy. So the necklace from Nomad Candy and then the earrings are from Wook Earrings. And so they actually have earplugs connected to them. So I just, I love this whole look. I think it's comfortable. I think it's stylish. I think it's like has that wow element. I love it. Okay, this next one is quite honestly, probably my favorite one. I'm not gonna lie. I want to build this outfit. Like I want to build this outfit into existence. So I have the shoes already and then I do have the hat. I don't have it currently, but the hat is by Grateful Alice and I did order it from her. I actually showed her this mood board and was like, hey, like just so you know, I'm designing some outfits and you know I have your hat as some inspo with it and she like basically like was like wow I'd be honored and like you know we just talked and like kind of struck a deal and so basically like I did purchase the hat from her so I want to slowly build this outfit I love the pants I got to figure out that how to pronounce this company's name I just it's like Koturiki or something clothing I I know I'm saying it Koturiki clothing or I'm totally saying it wrong I feel like an idiot so that's why I don't want to say it but I just have like so many elements from their shop in all these outfits because they just specialize in spandex attire that is like for anyone that's comfortable they have leggings they have skirts they have dresses they have like open face dresses they have stilt walker covers like they really have just been in the scene for a long time and I just feel like they also are body inclusive and like have all different sizes so those leggings I thought looked perfect and I paired it with the Brits Blossoms again. The bag is by Betsky's Boutique. I own three bags from her and will continue to own bags from her. I always use her bags as my festival go-to bag because they're fun. They have fringe, they have sequins. They're just, they're just iconic and I feel like you could always find something of hers to match with different outfits. The shirt I found on Etsy, I just think it's I just think it looks comfortable and light and I just feel like you could wear a crop top during the day with this and then wear that at night and be good. Spun glasses again and then the necklace is by Enchanted Wings. I got put onto this this brand and you will see you will see their their necklaces throughout a lot of the inspiration here. I just think that what a statement piece. I just I just obviously like am in love with this. Like I want to make this outfit a reality. Here's a few more options that I have from this shoe, the butterfly shoe being the um, the inspiration. Um, yeah, the crop top here, it kind of has those 3D butterflies, which is kind of really popular. I just feel like with butterflies in general, you can do so much. This outfit, I feel like a lot of people would be like, this is not Coachella. But I've been to Coachella three times and it's like, you know what, just wear whatever you want. You know what I mean? There is no like set standard. 
I do feel like this is an outfit that I feel like would be more for like EDC or Electric Forest, like just because of the candy harness. The candy harness is by Pandy Vibes. Um, and the earrings are by Blush Daisy. I own a lot of earrings by her too. They're all handmade with polymorph clay. And it's incredible, you guys. Like watching her videos of how she makes these earrings is absolutely insane so talented i just felt like all the rainbow elements went together and the harness that pandy vibes just is going to be releasing like this isn't even released yet oh i saw her post it and i was like yo like that is so fire and then i just have a different pair of spun glasses that baby pink just tying that in with the rainbow spun glasses to me are just like the best festival sunglasses because they're wire wrapped or they have decorations on them and they're just like different i feel like if you bring accessories into your outfit you could be wearing like something plain, but like spice it up with spun glasses and other accessories. Oh my gosh, I thought I was done and I forgot I had this, this, these two other boards here too. So this is just a shirt, a crop top from I Heart Raves and it has like that O-ring. Um, and then it ha I have another Uplifted Minds hat with it. And then I have the body chain from Nomad Candy. The, the jewelry set is also from Nomad Candy. So there's like a lot of like repetitive companies here, as you could tell. But like, I'm just trying to show you different ways you could style it based off of like what your comfort level is. And then this next one is like a really cute crop top and short combo um, from a rave brand I found on Etsy. Once again, I'll link it for you. And it's just another way of showing you the different accessories that spun glasses have. The, the fluffs are Brit's Blossoms. I actually own those. And then the necklace is those enchanted wings. Oh my God, these necklaces are gorgeous. But yeah, I mean, as you could tell, I got carried away. Like I, I, I told myself today, I'm like, you are sitting down and recording this fucking video because <laughs> you are doing it because otherwise it'll never gonna, gonna get released. Here's the purse inspiration and bag inspiration I have and also the accessories inspiration I have. So you could kind of just see like all the various ways you can go. There's also a lot of companies that sell the gems like Lunatics that have like the butterfly packages. So Depending on what your style is, you could take butterflies so far. I feel like butterflies are just everywhere. And I don't know, I really hope you enjoyed what I put together for those shoes. All right, up next, the theme is cow print. Now, I know what a lot of you are gonna say. You're gonna be like, really? Like that's so, so old school, that theme or whatever. You know, cow print is like overused and the Western Coachella look is overused. But honestly, since I was young, cows have been my favorite animal. I have cows all over my house. I collect cows. I love cow print. And I have yet to create a festival outfit that is cow print. Like, I feel like the cow print fad like blew up and I still haven't done it. And so I wanted to show you some options. So I actually own this hat it's from an Etsy shop that I'll link for you. I own the shoes. I own the pants. The pants are warrior within designs. Once again, all my staple pieces are by them. That's just the most comfortable brand, in my opinion, when it comes to festival wear. I have the earrings. They're by Blush Daisy, the cow print earrings. I have the belt, which is by Shop Magical Mini. So the only thing I would need here is the top. I did find this top with the rhinestones and the rhinestone bandana. You need a bandana at Coachella. So I just thought I'd show you this option, but quite frankly, I probably wouldn't get the rhinestones. I'd probably just go with a plain look, which is what I'm showing you here. It's like a plain cow crop top. It's by the same company. Um, I feel like it's adventure, adventure something is the brand. I knew I was gonna forget all these brands as soon as I started this video, but I'll put them up for you. But yeah, I just thought that, you know, this would look super cute and then this is another option that I have here. I think um, just doing really simple all black. So I have the black hat, have the black top, the crop top, have the black pants from Warrior Within. I think having a statement necklace like this silver piece, which is on Amazon, would just work. And then I have the fanny pack, which is also mine, and it's a cow print fanny pack. And then I just basically I have everything for this outfit except for the shoes. The shoes, I don't know about wearing them to Coachella. Like, honestly, guys, you don't want to really wear heels to Coachella, but I would totally do it just to get the look and the and the picture. You know what I mean? I would do it and then I'd maybe get a locker and then change out of them or something like after a couple hours. But yeah, I'm just 
I'm just loving like all these looks I put together and I hope you are too. This is an option I wanted to show you. It's something I personally wouldn't wear, but like it's just a bodysuit from I Heart Raves that has the cow print. And then there's also some earrings and a purse from a small business on Etsy. And then there's cowboy boots with cow print all over the place. And I just feel like cowboy boots are very Coachella, you know, just very Coachella. It's like the style to be wearing. And here's the last outfit, which quite honestly, like I'm just throwing this in there because I own a lot of these pieces. And as you can see, that hat is the hat I'm wearing. That is my hat. <laughs> so um, I own a lot of a lot of this outfit. I just don't own the mesh skirt and the enchanted wings necklace. So I own the bodysuit, which is by the light couture. And I own the bum bag, which is by Betsky's Boutique. And I own the platforms, which are by Demonia. And those are a lower platform. And I definitely feel like they're more manageable, the lower platforms at festivals. I own the yellow fluffs by Brit's Blossoms. And this is kind of like a sneak peek of where I'm going for Electric Forest outfits. So if you're interested in seeing more festival fashion like this, more outfits that I'm gonna be putting together, especially I will be doing one for an Electric Forest video because I'm 100% going to Electric Forest. Make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this video and you like the outfits I put together, please like it, please share it with any friends that are struggling to create some outfits. And yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the, the looks that I threw together and some of the brands that I featured. And if I butchered your brand name, I'm so sorry. I will get it right, I'm sure, by the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one, you guys. Peace.